Hello dreamers and welcome back to another episode of our Diamond Painting 101 series. Today we touch on a sensitive topic and that is expense management when dealing with our diamond paint addiction. Opening up this dialogue may feel a tad bit uncomfortable, but in the end we're a supportive community and we just like to be helpful for all diamond paint related topics including money and budgeting. Please be sure to like this video if you found it helpful and also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We are currently posting three videos a week. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Hello dreamers and welcome to another episode with Natalia 101. And today's topic is really kind of touchy a little bit and maybe somebody will recognize themselves in this video. So raise your hand if that's you. Uh, okay, so here's the topic guys. Are you addictive to diamond painting? Do you find this craft therapy for you? Or you just a collector. You cannot stop buying a diamond painting because you love them all. You maybe like the flowers, you like the skin, you, not, you like the cottages and you just cannot choose one diamond painting and your wallet getting thinner and thinner and on the end you end up with a whole bunch of diamond painting that you don't even do it. You just collecting them, stashing them and you have no time to drill. Maybe you work too many hours and you don't have time. Uh, maybe you just didn't feel like do this right now. So let's just say I'm gonna show you the way that you can control a little bit your spending and choose what is best for you. So our topic today to talk about is it quality or quantity? What do you choose? I know that some ladies already have like over 100 diamond painting and maybe from those 100 did you finish at least 5? That would be good, but some just like to collect and because it's cheap doesn't mean it's better to be honest. So I show you, I finally finished guys, I finished my when September ends. And this is what we call quality versus quantity of something so tiny that is we have to iron to flatten out yet. Also, it's a cheap plastic, so as beads. Now, to talk about big versus small or more expensive versus a little bit cheaper. I know lots of you like to shop on website called Wish and you know I have a funny kind of feeling about that website I don't know maybe some of you got lucky and you purchased really good diamond painting but some of you and many of you I would say from the website Wish you wish you never order because the diamond painting um, and I saw many videos that lady got so disappointed after opening first of all they come in a little envelope squished, but not only that, most of those diamond paintings are partial. So if you see great deal, one dollar diamond painting, it doesn't mean you're gonna have a great um, you know, picture that you can display somewhere on your wall. And this wall will be displayed on my diamond painting, I just have to frame them. So. Yes, what I'm saying, you know, you need to think about if you really, really want that diamond painting that is cost you dollar or two, and on the end, you will all maybe throw away because you're not gonna like it, or maybe the diamond painting not gonna have enough diamonds for you to finish, which is very often we have that problem, and many of you agree that uh, sometimes we are throwing away some diamond painting which as much as I like to fix them, but my example is different than yours and everybody else different from each other. So my suggestion would be, instead of buying four or five tiny canvases, save some money and buy one canvas that is a good size 
that you know for sure you will frame and put on your wall instead of just collecting because it's maybe pretty or cheap maybe not even because it's pretty it's because it was cheap dollar or two but then you realize that dollar and two it's only a few drills like sometimes a half an hour and you already finished the diamond painting because it's partial and very tiny and you already don't know what to do next day because you don't have diamond painting um, I did this canvas I really enjoyed working on it for many many days and I did not want it to finish because it's so beautiful so something like this that will cost you a little bit more expensive but you know for sure that anybody who can come to your house will wow away because it's so beautiful it's so sparkle high quality drills that shine even with the light as i have right now in here in my dining room and outside it's absolutely amazing so we did experiments with my little girl she was holding a diamond painting from inside of the house and I was outside looking at through the window. It was really, really sunny day. The diamond painting was just amazing. So guys, I'm gonna post this video about this diamond painting. I already shoot half of the video. I just waiting for the sunny day to add to my video tons of sparkle just for you. So let me tell you how can you save money instead of spending them and maybe uh, will a little bit you know slow down your budget if you don't have a big budget I always say to my husband and I like to tell this to my family in general to everybody I'm not that rich to buy cheap stuff think about it I'm not that rich to buy cheap stuff what does that mean if you buy cheap stuff there's a possibility that you have to throw away the money so you can buy another one because it's better and the first one was absolutely garbage so that's what I mean you save a little bit money you buy better quality a little bit more expensive but you know you will have a piece of art to treasure forever um, now how to slow you down not to buy too much and maybe you don't need all of them and you have to think how to choose usually i put in my shopping cart everything i like doesn't matter where i shop i put and then i go sleep or wherever and then next day i will go and look i look the other stores i look the possibility of better uh, and i look what is good what is maybe not so great maybe yesterday i like that picture and today i'm kind of hmm I don't think I really need that picture, right? So I'm just check out uh, out of my uh, shopping cart and I'm not gonna buy it because today I changed my mind. So never buy something that you just like in this moment maybe was a little bit on sale and you buy it. Don't wait for this moment that it's gonna be maybe on sale and maybe you want it but you're not sure yet if you like it or not. Same goal for the diamond painting if you like to gift somebody um, you don't know if that person will like that particular diamond painting unless it's really really personal so you choose diamond painting what you personally like that way if you decide to change your mind and not to gift person with that present you will know that this diamond painting will be in your house and you're gonna like it right so this is kind of like to calm your shopping spree and put you a little bit under control because many of your husband probably already told you girls how many diamond paintings do you need do you really need to buy all of them no you don't so you just have to pick what is going to be good for your house do you even have a free space on your walls uh, I have an empty space and here I have lots of them empty but you know I have to choose and pick something that is really really special and it's going to be beautiful instead of just pile up everything I have well maybe one day I will create the corner to display all of them but I'm sure I'm not gonna have a room in my house for that um, so yes guys I really encourage you to think about what you're buying 
and also I would love to invite you to our Dreamer Design Community uh, Facebook page and if you are a customer, well you have to be a customer to uh, get into this special group that we have lots of great videos with Kaylin. She's doing amazing tutorials. We have a bingo games. We have a giveaways of their live chat. Lots of lots of fun. And maybe if you you purchase one of the Dreamer Design uh, canvases, you will be automatically kind of invited to this group and. Uh, check it out we have lots of fun and you could be one of the winner um, of your choice for the diamond painting or unless it's given away some uh, particular diamond painting so we have a tons of fun up there and i would love you all to join us and at the end i would love to encourage you to try this tips um, make a plan how many diamond painting you would like to buy for example this month right but do one by one if you already have lots of lots of project you didn't even start it yet so you don't really need to buy another diamond painting because you think they will disappear and there's going to be no market for diamond painting i don't think this is going to happen soon enough so let's just say you drill one at a time and if you one of them that like to start uh, many diamond paintings at once uh, maybe you like to finish those first and then if you still have lots diamonds diamond painting in your stash you know you don't need maybe order this month but if you do make sure you you order one and then you drill one and on but save money for the best that you like and i'm just saying guys enjoy diamond painting because this is a wonderful craft it's therapeutic as for me it was a therapy at first it turned to addictive that right now i really i can i can't stop because i barely even do that kind of craft that i liked before which slowly slowly i try to get back to my regular crafting about everything but diamond painting is a winner it's not just because i'm so addicted i need to have them all i always pick something that is represent me represent my life represent my family something that remind me about tell me some story that i have that and and when I look on the diamond painting, I see that story. So that's how I pick my diamond paintings. And guys, I wish you all the best. And I love you all. Join me on my next episode. And happy crafting. All right, dreamers. So like Natalia said, when you choose quality over quantity, not only do you get a better experience diamond painting, but you gain access to an incredible and supportive community online. Choosing Dreamer Designs and becoming a customer not only means that you gain access to our Facebook community group, but you also receive tons of support, so many free tutorials and videos, live stream entertainment, giveaways, and game nights. We hope that this video gives you some food for thought. Leave a comment down below and tell us your money-saving hacks or thoughts on this topic. Please also go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand subscribers and we're so grateful that you are coming along on this journey and watching all of our amazing videos in our library here on Dreamer TV. So thanks again for watching and remember to paint with passion. Goodbye!